Hey everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about eating dandelions. That's right, that thing that grows all over your lawn and even in between the sidewalks is actually really healthy for you. I'm not kidding either. Here's Loblaw selling organic dandelion greens for $3.99 and Amazon selling dried dandelion root products. The local health food store is selling dandelion greens for $4.99 a bunch and another place sells bulk dried leaves and cut roots year round with price tags of $29.99 and $22.99 respectively, though I'm not sure for what weight. Well guess what, they are exactly the same thing as what you'd find outside on your lawn. Although keep in mind that if you do live in a really polluted area like next to the highway or if you know your neighbor sprays their weeds with weed killers, then you definitely want to go for the store-bought versions. The entire plant can be eaten from the flowers to the stems to the leaves to the roots. Even when the flower dries up, you can eat the seeds. The flowers are sweet in taste. And if you break the stem, this white milky liquid tastes bitter. The leaves are also bitter and become more bitter as it grows, so I'd recommend eating the leaves when they're still small. You can mix them into salads or eat them cooked to make them even less bitter. I haven't pulled out a root yet because I don't have my weeder with me, but you can use them to brew with tea. I wash and dry them and I just take them out when I'm ready to steep, but some people roast them first. I'm not a fan of bitter veggies so I juice them. Add a small handful only and combine with sweeter fruits and veggies like what I'm doing here with the carrots, beets, and fruit to mask the taste. When I first foraged for dandelion, I thought I'd juice them by themselves and that was probably one of the bitterest, most disgusting drinks I've ever had. So learn from my experiments and don't drink juiced dandelion all by itself. Many experts say that it is because of this bitterness that makes dandelion such a great liver detoxifier. It also supplies you with antioxidants, it helps with digestion, and it boosts the immune system, just to name a few things. I've left some studies below if you wanted to check out the details. One warning that I did find um, while doing my research on dandelions is that it may reduce male fertility. I've linked a rat study down below and you can have a look at it. Sometimes animal studies aren't really transferable to humans, so I would say that even if you are a male, you can benefit from the properties of dandelion, just don't overdo it. Also, dandelion has a poisonous lookalike called ground sill. Ground sill is characterized by yellowish flowers that never bloom and some white fluffy seed heads. You are relatively safe in foraging for dandelions, but always double and triple check with an expert or like what I have, an identification book. And if you're not sure, don't eat it. Also, if you're really concerned about your abilities to identify plants, you can always buy from the grocery store. A final note, it is prohibited to forage in Toronto parks and public spaces, so be sure to check all the policies on foraging in your city before you go and pick some wild greens. They do this in order to protect the plants from over harvesting as well as the people doing it because they don't want cases of accidental poisoning. But this does not mean that you cannot forage for dandelions. I'm almost 100% sure that you'd have at least one friend or family member who wouldn't mind having you over just to weed their garden. Just saying. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful, please remember to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a single tip. Also remember to please like up this video and I will see you next week.